and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tusk Raider Ramp. Going to be playing something a little bit different. This is uh, basically just like the War Mothers Ramp decks that we've seen in the past, but we're not playing War Mothers Ramp. Instead, our top end, we have Tusk Raider. We got three of these. Um, if we have the Plunder Trigger turned on, double the power and health of the allies in our deck and draw a Sejuani. So we got Sejuanis, we got Anivias. You know, we're ramping into this kind of top end. Rekindler, bring them back, everything like that. All right, so let's see what we got for the early game and for our ramp. So we got Weirding Stones. Keep us getting those extra mana gems. Retrov. Thank you, Retrov. Thanks for using your Twitch Prime sub over here. I appreciate that. Because it's our first sub of the day. Let's change that. And then we, of course, have Catalyst of Aeons being another ramp spell for us, keeping us alive. Now, we do need to play some defense and stay alive also. And so we got all these avalanches, which I actually think that avalanche is a... It's just a pretty good spell right now with the Bilgewater decks playing kind of nothing but tutus with your Black Market Merchant and um, like the Deckhands and the Twisted Fates and there's a bunch of like shadow assassin and uh, the other like the three twos that come into play there's a lot of two toughness things running around everywhere and avalanche kind of feels like it's in a good position so we got avalanche and then we also have ember maiden to kind of be a um kind of a, a sweeper for us deal one to everything at the round start this card is going to be important not only to, to kind of keep the boards in check a little bit like spiders and stuff like that in check, but also to deal damage to our opponent to help our Sejuani's level up, even though we're not really going to be leveling up Sejuani too much in this kind of control deck, but maybe we have one of those in play to help us trigger Plunder, which that's a big thing. So if, if we can, it may be better to wait with Ember Maiden to try to trigger Plunder for this Tusk Raider, if possible. But between Ember Maiden dealing one damage to everything, Avalanche doing two damage to everything, Withering Whale dealing one damage to all their stuff, hopefully that that kind of stuff can um, keep the board in check. And we also have the combo with Ember Maiden and Miscall. So like the Ember Maiden will kill itself, round start the second turn, we can Miscall, bring it back, and keep on doing one to everything. Or, of course, Miscall with like Anivia is awesome too. All right, so let's give this deck a try. And also, Anivia, of course, attacking, does one to everything. Let's go play five games over in Ranked. Try to get that winning record, if possible. And see how we do. Lucky sevens. So I probably want to just play the Catalyst of Aeons on turn three. Instead of uh, Ember Maiden on turn three. I don't know, maybe I need to play Ember Maiden. Alright, let's see. If I go Catalyst, the next turn I will have 6 mana, so we can Catalyst again. And then the turn after that, I will have... That'd be the, the next turn, and then we catalyst. The turn after that, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'd have seven mana plus one extra. We'd have eight mana, but like seven spell mana. Maybe better just to start with one of these, just to kind of keep the board in check a little bit. Yeah, but 
cool. Yeah, I have I have the records up here. This is our, our first game with the deck. Embers and smoke. I don't know. My thing's going to just die next turn anyway. Always have turn four Maokai. So this, this should be us playing a plundered Tusk Raider next turn. I mean, I guess I could play Ruination, but I think I want to just play a Plundered Tusk Raider. So yeah, we'll have 8 mana. Use that turn on Plunder. Seems like a perfect time to do this. Man, this is a good Withering Whale, though, isn't it? Maokai is just going to kill me. Okay. Then I guess you need a Tusk, tusk Raider. I don't have any cards left in my deck. I have four of them. None of them are champions. I don't have a Sejuani. I can't, I can't possibly win in four turns. Maokai's rough. We are a very, very slow deck. And Maokai punishes that for sure. Yeah, I had round six. Mao Maokai. Level up. Alright, please don't have... Please don't have turn five Vi. <laughs> I don't want to see turn four Maokai. I don't want to see turn five Vi. I do want to draw my ramp cards. That's why we mulliganed all those. We want our ramp. Like Catalyst of Aeons is probably our most important card to see. These regions don't have calling strike for to play for Maokai. Swift and silent as the breeze. I need no weapon. Mulligan wasn't too kind to us. No ramp to be found. Our hand is very slow. Why not? Whoops. Problem. 
Hmm. Guess that's maybe even worse for me than by. And we're not, like, actually trading with any cards with this Withering Whale. These were just free things. They still have just as many cards as we do in hand. And they had, still have a Heimerdinger and a Claws of the Dragon in play, even if this resolves. And a whole bunch more mana. Our deck's not looking very good. Not looking very good so far. When even the control deck is able to very out aggro you. Plans to play Ember Maiden this turn. I don't really expect them to waste all this mana. If they do, I guess we kind of catch up. Yeah, our starting hand wasn't good. You know, I mulliganed all the cards, and <laughs> we didn't get anything good either. So, yeah. It... We only have a couple of cards that we really need in our opener, you know, like with, like, Weirding Stones and um, uh, Catalyst of Aeons being very important to ramp. If we don't have the ramp, yeah, we're, we're real slow. Actually, you know what? Instead of playing the Ember Maiden, I'm going to play that so I can get Enlightened next turn and play an Enlightened Anivia. Keep passing. I'm not attacking with my O4. Yeah, I found Catalyst Aeons. Well. 
Eonia cards are mean against big, slow decks like this. You know, Deny and Will of Ionia. Really makes playing these kind of decks tough. It would be fun if like these decks were slightly competitive and you could actually play them. It would be fun. These two games, our deck has looked really bad, unfortunately. Ionia is just a, a great region against us, and Ionia is kind of everywhere. Maybe I should keep one of those Tusk Raiders. How are we going to turn on this plunder? <laughs> yeah, three mana deny was a nightmare. Alright, let me check to see if thumbnails ready. There we go, Puffcat Blunder. All right, edit this video. See, Avalanche is pretty good. I do like Avalanche right now. I'm not sure where, you know, we can play Avalanche in a good deck, but I, but Avalanche is in a really good spot. Ionia speaks through me. Gonna make the spider and try to try to do one point of damage with the spider. Sweet. Plunder. Extend your sense. Spider plunder. Good old spider plunder. A true Felyorian welcome. So many cards in hand. My lands need me.
Trying to kill Karma. I will not hold back. Yeah, I guess I could have just thrown a, a Weirding Stones in place and not taken three damage. Three damage isn't too relevant. But yeah, I suppose I could have done that. Well, with those Weirding Stones go away, I'm not at full mana anymore. My path is clear. Like, see, now I'm at 8 mana this turn. Or we'll see 9 because I played the Catalyst of Aeons. We're not at... So... Yeah, we're not necessarily at full mana. You own what you take. Own all we see. Hey, Rivalis. Boo. So I didn't do this thing, the lease in. Because I thought they would just play two spells and give the Lee Sin barrier. Bleh. A wise retreat. No suffering. We may end it. <laughs> Zero eight weirding stones. Passing. Bring me chaos. My wisdom is not. If they want to block here, they only go to they only gain a little bit of life. Conflict is all in the mind. Save the homestead. Conflict is all in the mind. Do y'all think they definitely have deny? Replaced. Okay. Sorry, getting the YouTube uploads. Um, darn it. I was really hoping they would play something. care about that 08. It's just a 08 that doesn't do anything. I 
will not hold back. It's just better to play Sejuani on my attacking turn because of the vulnerable. The answer lies within. Where there is light, there is hope. Come to the light. Bristle, attack! Have them use their spells. We're doing okay. Not perfect. Leveled up karma is still awesome. I'll see this through. Conflict is all in the mind. No, they did have a deny. Me out, Nivia. Ionia speaks through me. Act free of doubt. The good news the Nivia trigger get, would get rid of a barrier. Wow, there's taking it all. Wow. I didn't exactly expect that. Enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Huh. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. Tell us what you really think, Lee Zen. Sure. So that means they get the sapling, like the the lifelink things, and I'm gonna try to withering whale them. Really hope withering whale resolves. This will be a great withering whale if it resolves. If we can kill Karma, that would be great.
would be dead karma. See if they do anything. I could harsh winds. Also, but that takes the rest of my turn. So they go up to six, but I'm just going to take the dead karma. And be happy with that. Stop. This is our time. I dead now? It's looking like I'm dead. Still have two more of these two ones on the way back. Looks like this is lethal. Ooh, that's good. That's good. I'll help out. Stop. That's, that's lethal even through a vile feast. Right, so gain three, I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and I go to eight. Why do you have to keep having burst spell speeds? Burst speed spells. Getting it done. Just keep on getting Nivea's bounced. Nivea, not good against bounce. Unfortunately, the last two opponents have liked bouncing our Nivea's. I wouldn't say Freljord too fair. I would say Nivea too slow. Like, just this deck in general too slow. It's too expensive. And just no. Both Will of Ionia and Deny are just so great against us. And they had a, a clutch Deny, and then some clutch Will of Ionias, and then Dragon's Rage bouncing. We're not playing against Ionia as a region, so that's good. We have hope. I want Sejuani. The problem is we're playing against the Hyper Burn deck and our deck's very slow. <laughs> Say you run a, a Freljord Frostbite deck and it loses to the meta control decks. Yeah, we're losing to a bunch of meta decks with this. This doesn't doesn't quite look good enough to compete with the meta decks.
go up to 20 anyway. The problem with playing Grasp the Undying is like Noxion Fervor would be a huge that would be a huge problem. I, so I'm gonna just play that and start ramping and try to get to Anivia earlier, play Ember Maiden next turn to clear up some stuff. Or at least try to clear up some stuff with that. Let me show you sure, why not? Just have the best anti emperor Maiden card. Why not? Yeah, Karina controls a... It's a good deck. Yeah, it's a good deck. I have my orders. So we will have seven mana next turn to be able to play Anivia. So I take one extra point of damage. If I would have blocked the 3-1, I would take one less point of damage. But they both have one toughness now, so Anivia can kill all of these things, but we'll be at 5. Or I could have Withering Whale kill all those things, and I don't lose so much life. That's not so bad. like to pass first but the problem is is if they just if they just say okay untap and then attack that's annoying then we take an extra point of damage maybe that's a low risk thing and I could have just passed but I do like how I have this grasp also so if they do have noxion fervor I can grasp in response Wow, they did just pass. Remember the objectives. Bow to no one. Again, still keeping up grasp. Let's keep that Twitch Prime sub coming. Our second sub of the day. Thanks, Ryan Vale. Obviously blocking. There's the Nocturne Fervor. Awesome. Be impatient and waiting for Nocturne Fervor. That's the win. Also, that Withering Whale top deck wasn't bad either. Here we go. Gotta win. We we played against non Ionia. 
And things went better for us. Well, we did beat aggro, but we had a really, really good hand, and they did not have Boom Crew Rookie. I don't know how we, we would have really dealt with Boom Crew Rookie. No, we're facing aggro again. Oh. Good thing we mulligan the seven drops just to redraw them immediately. That's a mobile addicts meta tier list right there. Rabbit wolf pack that could help you out. Really? Yeah, does that count? Do I are we two and three now? Yeah. I guess they didn't have any other minions in hand. Was that the same opponent that we just played against? And, like, they just were on tilt? I don't know. I don't know what happened there. So, anyway, our deck looked really poor against... This card is just really cool. But our deck did look really poor against Ionia, because, like, like, look at our threats, you know, Sejuani, Anivia, Rick Kindler to, a, to a, a degree, but really if you look at Sejuani, Anivia, and Tuskrater, especially our two champions, they're, they're really bad against bounce spells. And my opponent not only was playing Will of Ionia, but then we had that one opponent with all the Dragon's Rages and just kept on bouncing everything makes things really tough because you never get to double spell you never go above 10 mana you know we don't just keep on going 11 12 13 14 mana and you know are able to double spell with these things when you play anivia it takes up your turn and they bounce it and so on um so i liked i kind of liked our our mid-range stuff like weirding i did like weirding stones i'd like to ember maiden too it's so like ember maiden Weirding Stones, Avalanche, Catalyst, and then of course Grass Withering Rails. Like that stuff is good. It's just how do how do we how do we have things that don't get bounced by Will of Ionia? <laughs> like how, how do we have things that are good against Will of Ionia? I mean, I guess that would be like things with like play triggers, but still, even like these things with like their play triggers are still weak to Will of Ionia. A War Mother's Call gets denied. You like hexproof things, I guess. I don't know. But there we go. That's Tusk Raider Ramp. Not, not one that looked necessarily great against the Ionia decks. All right, y'all watch it on YouTube. Hit that like button over there. If you have any idea, if you have any idea for like this kind of deck against Ionia, against Deny and Will of Ionia, feel free to let me know. You know, like put it in the the comments if you got any idea of what threats we could be playing for that. But I'd say Tusk Raider did look pretty cool. Do want to try out more Tusk Raider. And... And as we talked about before in a, another video, I I do really like, where's this card? This Spirit Walker card. I'm interested in trying this card out more. I think maybe tomorrow I'll have like a Reckoning deck and try to have all this five power stuff that we got going on with Freljord and Noxus with like Spirit Walker and Hearthguard and stuff like that. And, you know, we could have Sejuani for one of the champions. Um, maybe... Maybe Vladimir for another champion. That could be cool. 
I'm not a big fan of Darius, but I guess you could have Darius also. But anyway, there we go. Tusk Raider Ramp. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.